And welcome to Focus TV, where we take a look at the science behind everyday stuff. Now, because it's summertime, we've decided to enter a sandcastle building competition. But because we're a competitive bunch, we've looked around to see if there's any science we can apply to our castle building. And we also wanted to have a practice before the big day. So we've come down to Western Supermare and we've picked a perfect day for it because it's slightly overcast and quite a cool breeze, which means that any moisture that we're using when building our sand castle doesn't evaporate off and so the structure actually stays firmer and more solid. We've also staked out the perfect site just above the high tide line where we can dig down to find any wet sand and use that to build a firmer structure but also when the tide comes in it won't sweep away our beautiful castle. Now the boys have joined me to share some of their other top tips. Here they are. Hello and welcome to the official sandcastle testing area. As you can see we've tested quite a few textures of sandcastles to see what works best because when you're building a sandcastle creation getting a good solid sandcastle is absolutely vital. And now there's, a, there's one theory in sandcastle building that the best mixture for a sandcastle is eight parts sand and what to one part water. So we thought we'd better test that just to see if that's actually true. So here I've pre-prepared eight units of sand in both of these buckets and we're going to mix different levels of water just to see if there's any difference in the strength of the sandcastle. So firstly adding one unit of water to this bucket, highly scientific. Secondly adding half a jug to this bucket. Now we can give it a little mix. So let's see which one works best. So here the first one, good solid sandcastle, quite wet actually, but it looks fairly solid. Second one, again, pretty good solid sandcastle. So it seems that there's not an optimum level, it's not too critical the level of water that you have. And in fact there are two sort of counteracting forces that are at play here. What happens is the water binds, binds the, the grains of sand together. So the level of water is important, but as you increase the level of water, the surface tension in the water decreases. But at the same time, the width of the bridges in the water increases. So those two factors counteract each other. So as you can see, it makes very little difference. Okay, so to build the perfect sandcastle, you also need grains of sand which are the perfect shape and size. So there need to be two things. Um, for the uh, shape, they need to be quite angular, so then they, they sort of catch and there's lots of friction, they sort of stick together nicely. Um, and you also need the grains of sand to be small, so then they pack together nicely. Um, here is uh, some equipment from the special sandcastle building kit. You can see the holes are too big, so when you put the sand in, the sand just comes out in clumps, you only get large clump grains. Um, with this special number 50 sieve, you get nice fine grains and you'll get a nice castle shape from um, the friction and from it packing together nicely. Okay, last thing. Like Jen and Andy said earlier on, it's really important to keep the sand wet, especially if you're high up the beach and it's that fine grainy stuff. So, initially you need to get it nice and moist when you start building, but it's also really important to keep it wet once you've got a vague structure in place like we have here. So what I've got is this nice little watering can like you'd mist your house plants with, and literally you just squirt the thing, just to keep it nice and moist, keep it shape. And then, once you've got your overall shape ready, and obviously we're not quite there yet, but once you are, then you get your little tools like this out, like my trowel here, and you can start to, to be a bit more accurate with what you're building. So it might not look like it at the moment, but what we've got here is the back end of a car falling into a crack in an earthquake. Now, you need to use your imaginations a little bit, but on the day in the competition, this is going to be amazing. And it's these little tools that are gonna provide the finishing touches. Right, so guys, we've applied the science, we've done the practice, now let's go and win the competition, eh? Yay! <laughs>
seven on the big competition day. As you can see, there are loads of loads of teams here. The focus team's here, and we are building away. We've got three hours to do this, so we're up against the clock. Now, we've actually had a change of plan. We've decided not to um, build an earthquake crack with a car coming out of it. A little bit too hard. So we've gone for a simpler and cleverer solution by building a brain. So we've got three hours. We're about halfway through. We've got about an hour and a half left. I better get back to work and help the boys. Right, I'm actually here with the reigning champion. Um, the competition didn't happen last year because it was rained off, but uh, the previous year you won and you are team... Starting to Crystal from Tarrington and Devon. Brilliant. And um, what are you actually doing this time round? This time we're doing uh, Horses in the Waves, which is uh, six horse sculptures um, created by... We've got a, a creative guy who, who does this every year with us, Nick, Nick Davy. Is it, is it like the Guinness ad where you've got the waves? A little bit like that, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that's yeah, what I've been hearing. Yeah, I've heard yeah, about this yeah, great yeah, thing. Yeah, and uh, yeah. yeah. And do you think you're going to win it again this year? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I'm, we haven't really looked around everybody else, so wouldn't be so arrogant to say we might, but we're in with the chance, I think, in with a chance, yeah. Brilliant. Well, yeah. good luck. Okay, thanks very much. Yeah. Cheers. Bye. Right, I've managed to find a stag do, and surprisingly enough, I've located the stag. Hello, stag. Hello. What's your team name, stag? Uh, team stag. 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 Um, <laughs> and what are you creating today, stag? A stag. Brilliant. And are you going to win the competition with this great creation? Uh, yes, we are indeed. We're very confident, but we're, we're running pretty close with the igloo over there, which is a good effort. And um, what would your future wife think of this uh, creation? I, I'm not here. <laughs> you haven't seen me. I'm not here at all. We didn't do anything this weekend. Yeah, it wasn't me. We were never here. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks a lot, guys. Right, we've got ten minutes to go, guys. Yes, so get cracking. Last bits. Right, I've, uh, uh, the crowds are all gathering. I've checked out the competition and I think we're in with a good chance, so fingers crossed. Right guys, time's up. Um, the judges are on the way round, so shall we reveal our creation? Yeah. Ready, steady, move! <laughs> Judges of the competition, Richard and Angus. Now, Richard, what are you actually looking for in a, one of these sculptures? I suppose technical execution, how well they've executed their concept. Um, sense of humour doesn't go amiss, and uh, not using props as well. We're looking for things that have kind of been done using the sand as, 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 as much as possible on its own. Right, and Angus, what's the competition been like this year? I think it's been very good. Um, it's been going on for years here at Willacombe, and each year seems to get better. And what do you think of our creation, both of you? We figured it was some kind of awful, but it took a while to work out his brains. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Right, I'm here with the winner, Charles, with his amazing creation. Charles, how does it feel to have won this sandcastle right. building competition? I'm very, very surprised, actually. I, I thought I'd probably become second, but not first. I was very, very surprised. But it has tired me out, I must admit, because of the three hours. Well, I have to say, it's absolutely phenomenal sculpture, so congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, sadly we didn't win, but we did learn a thing or two about building the ultimate sandcastle. So maybe with a bit more practice, we'll get it next year.